What's going on guys? Lou Dude here. Um back with you to do another review of the multimedia DVD receiver with Bluetooth car dual stereo system. So here I recently bought this from, yes, you guessed it, Walmart. Um, wasn't bad for the price. Paid like one forty nine. Uh, it says it fits most single dens. So my other one, it kind of like took a kaboot. I've had it for a long time, so it's about time it took a dump. But I saw this one and I thought, hey, why not give it a try and see if I like it. So I purchased it and I did a install and it wasn't too bad. So I'll show you here what it looks like. It's kind of bulky. But, I like it so far. I've had it for like, about two days. And it took me a whole half an hour to do the install. But, I'm going to turn on the key here. It's the 7 inch display. And Bluetooth works great. Um, I was having trouble with the DVD player. And I had read upon that and you have to hook up the brake wire to your parking brake. It's like a bypass for in order for the DVD player to work in here. So I had did that, I took the wire and I ran it through here, under here, and attached it to the wire for my parking brake. And it's like a bypass. But I did that, and it works, but I've made calls on it so far, and I like it. It's It's got clear audio. But you got your Bluetooth. Um, got your radio. Your auxiliary. Haven't tested that out yet. But I have it hooked up. Your AV. And your dial pad to make a, a call. And this saves your contacts and history of who you had called, missed calls, received calls, and dialed calls. Um, you got your radio, disc, USB, SD, your Bluetooth phone, Bluetooth music. Um, your rear camera, I haven't hooked that up yet, but I will in the future. Your AUGS in, your AV in, and the setup. And you can adjust the monitor brightness in case you're driving at night and it's too, too bright and you want to dim it. Um, you can adjust the angle. So you can make it go down and then you can have it go all the way up. Um, so let's 
give this DVD player a try. Let me slap a DVD in here real quick. And it comes with your <laughs> standard controller, which is like the size of a cell phone. But you control everything from that. So, but you just got to make sure that you wire up the parking brake with the wire. And make sure it's in park or neutral and have the parking brake up. So. And it's pretty awesome. But yeah. I mean, for a seven inch display, it's pretty big. But um, yeah, that's my recent purchase. And if I already give a feedback so far, I would say definitely get it. Definitely get it. It's not bad for the price. Like I said, I paid 140 for it. And it's great um, you can also there's a micro SD uh, slot in the back of the faceplate right here if you take off the faceplate let's see if I can get that I'm gonna have to set the camera down nope we're good let that go back in but right here is the micro SD slot to play micro SDs. And right here is your USB. So that's good. But I'm impressed so far. Um show you the box here so you can stream music Bluetooth uh, calling hands-free uh, auxiliary for your devices and it does come with the harness with it people were telling me that it didn't you have to purchase that separately that's wrong these come with the harness you just have to buy an aftermarket harness for your existing harness in your car luckily I purchased one uh, way back and I would saved it for just this occasion so that worked out great but yeah I'm pretty impressed so far so yeah if if you like it give it a thumbs up uh, comments are always uh, gratefully appreciated and until next time, Lou Dude out.